because bookshops have a, a special feel to them. They have an atmosphere, don't they? They do. They have a mood, and the presence yeah, of yeah. books creates something that is unique. Uh, and I think as a kid, I kind of tapped into that. Um, so if I had a bit of pocket money or holiday spends, I'd go and have a look. And then, uh, and I think very often it was like uh, wet, seeing it, you know, seeing how people present the books, the sort of layout of the shop, the kind of people that were in there, you know, the whole thing was, it all worked as one. Yeah. Uh, and I always did it. I just always did it. Where I went, you know, I just go in and have a look. And so, in terms of a literary sort of heritage, uh, it was probably more in, informed by bookshops than books themselves. The books that you were interested in changed as you got older, and your interest mm -hmm. changed. But the the phenomenon of a shop, uh, particularly second-hand bookshops, uh, you know, that's the draw. You know, really. yeah. I remember the first time I went in a second-hand bookshop. And it was just like like yours, like just um, yes. turning corners and there's yes. more, more shelves, yes. floor to ceiling. Yeah, it's, it's a strange feeling, isn't it's, it? Like, it's a great feeling, and yeah. I think uh, you know when I, s when I decided to set up a bookshop, uh, that was always in my mind. It was never going to be a super tidy. Uh, I mean, some bookshops have it laid out so you can see everything in one sweep. Yeah, and it's all ordered and it's all plastic sleeves on things and. Whilst it's interesting to be in a shop like that, I prefer the one where serendipity rules. You know, you unearth something that, that somebody's moved, or it's, you know, it is where it shouldn't be, and all that kind of thing. So having it the way it is, as we have it, well, I have. I don't have rows with my wife about it, but she has a slightly different. She'd rather it were a little bit more ordered, and I can I can understand some customers wanting to be able to come in, go straight to what they're after, and kind of find it. Uh, but I'm I'm always in favour of this person that spends an hour in there and he's hanging from the ceiling or he's on on the floor on his knees <laughs> or he's and then somebody said the other day you know I really like this kind of shop because you have to spend time and that's the only way you unearth the diamonds and you have a little pile of you know things that and that for me is that's a reward in itself it's great yeah we had people coming in sort of saying uh, what's it like to book the trend. Or, we had a bookshop, why are you opening a bookshop now? We closed because of the internet, because of online sales. Mm. And I just thought, well, I don't care, you know. <laughs> I do, I believe in this. This is something that is more than just books. It becomes something else, and it becomes a place where people like to be, you know. Uh, and I think that overrided the idea of, you know, um, buying lists. You know, a list would appear on a screen, and you'd pick the item off the list. And I've done that. With, you know, I sort books that I want and bought them on, online. Um, but it's it's not the experience of, of going into a shop. It's not that experience. No, it's different, isn't it? Very different. And that, like I said before, that idea of the presence of books, the idea that you're in that environment, with the, the sound is deadened by the presence of the books, the smell of the books. You know. Paper turning. In. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and people, um, you have conversations with people that are different because it's a bookshop. If it was selling carrots, you'd never have that conversation. Do you know what I mean? You'd say, oh, thank you, right, and you know, that's it. But in bookshops, people will talk about all sorts of things. You know, there's a story behind the book. There's a story behind every purchase. And there's and a it's, sort of different genres in this, all the different stories. Exactly, our... exactly. I mean, we've had heated exchanges around whether graffiti art should be in galleries or whether it belongs to the proletariat in the streets. You know, we've had different theories about uh, animal mutilations, you know, and uh, uh, just uh, every person, more or less, who's, <coughs> excuse me, going to have a conversation, you know, other people engage with it. It could be two or three people talking across a room or somebody will overhear something say, oh, I've been there or I've done that or, you know, and then, and that I love. Yeah. You know, it's really great. You know, you in a day, if you have a good day, you might have had 20 people come in and they've all got different strands and elements of their lives that they share with you. It could be about art-based, it could be scientific, engineering, you know, all sorts. Yeah, all their different backgrounds. All their different backgrounds and interests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's about being part of a community about being you know because ideas bookshops are all about ideas you know people come along they want to expand their thinking on a particular thing 
you know, their, either their knowledge of Manchester buses or f the philosophy of whatever, political philosophy. They want to expand that. And bookshops do that. That's what they, their ideas. I mean, sometimes I sit there and in the shot and I'm bristling. I'm thinking, oh my God, they are paper, they are board, they are this, they are bookshelves of wood. But they're also all these people's thoughts, you know, made physical. And they're all like resonating around the room. It's a phenomenal thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just a, a mind blowing concept when you think about it. That, that this can hold all these people's lives and their aspirations and their thoughts and their theories. And, you know, if they're creative people, their sensitivities, their poetry, their, you know, their art life, whatever it is. And they're all there. You know, I can't think of any other way in which you can encapsulate and share that at the same time. Do you know what I mean? If yeah, you've got yeah. family history, you know it within your family, but you don't share it with the universe. Do you know what I mean? How do you do that? You can't do that. But books do that somehow. Yeah, they last and get passed down. They down. last, they get passed around, they're interpreted it from different perspectives as society changes. You know, people are, are reading Brave New World. They want it now because it's, it's resonating. Yeah. You know, so if the book didn't exist, where's that interplay going to be? So if there's no bookshops, we are living in an impoverished society if those bookshops aren't there. We're living in the worst possible society because it's one person's view of the world imposed on everybody. Whereas a bookshop allows you to escape that, allows you to question it. It allows you to be escapist in fantasy, in romance, in whatever it is. You can you can transcend the surroundings that you're in, and they're pieces of paper that are made from trees and ink. You know, it's fantastic, <laughs> fantastic things. <laughs> that's one hell of a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. That's but what it true. is. That's what it is. So the idea of you know profit margins and you know spreadsheets and the internet da -da 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 and analysis, I get that. And it, and, it, and it is good in one way but I'm not that kind of bookseller I'm sure some people are and I'm, but I, I do think that most of the booksellers I know um, aren't like that either really I think no. there's more to it more in tune with the, the books themselves the books themselves yeah. and the fact that books are about people and people are about books you know that's it that's, that is the interplay between those things I mean there has to be the money bit to keep the lights on as I always say you know provide the bookshelves and so forth but yeah and if some people come back and they really enjoy the book or they've, they've learned something from a book uh, it's great 